motor car is Victoria, Victoria's motor car. So not to have a track in Victoria is almost, well, just not on. We, yeah, that's, that's how I see it. To have a racetrack in Melbourne would be a huge, huge advantage for us. Unfortunately, they say, well, yeah, we've got a couple of tracks here in Melbourne. Well, you don't have tracks that can handle top fuel dragsters. There are certain safety standards for people as well as drivers. Drag racing's on the up and up. Um, the, the industry is booming. I mean, we're turning it, the, the turnover of money in this industry is enormous, and the, the financial benefit to Melbourne would be, you know, second to none. I mean, when we used to race there back in 2001, they ha always had the biggest crowds, they always had the biggest turnout, they've got the most number of entrants. So, to the Melbourne people, I mean, the, the input into the economy would be enormous. On an average, we probably spend about $20,000 at the, any city that we visit, any, at each race meeting. If we had a world-class facility like Perth and Queensland and um, Sydney, I mean, you get five, 600 race teams attending the event, and it'd be like a carnival atmosphere. The main thing about our sport is the spectators are welcome to come in the pits, look at the cars, speak to the drivers. And to see that stadium packed tonight, the stadium of gladiators, man, it's atmosphere plus. Yeah, it's definitely a family atmosphere at the drags. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's always good for mum, dad, the kids to come down. You get 30, 40,000 people to an event and it's a one-off cost for the government to build the venue. It's a clean, healthy sport and uh, there's no aggro, families are welcome. As a young bloke growing up, Evan, you know, our background's farming and that, um, you know, we always have an opportunity to drive vehicles, but younger generation, you know, in the big cities, they haven't got the opportunities like we have in the country. So to have a, a facility that's purpose-built for these guys to go there and in a controlled atmosphere to do what they've got to do, is he's great. It keeps the kids off the street of a Wednesday night, you know, they can go race their street car, you know, then, I mean, the fatalities down there are, are, I think, bigger than any other state, so you've got to look at that positive as well. Well, two of the quickest cars in the country come from up our way, which is Lower Victoria, and we haven't even got a racetrack. Like, how cruel is that? Just get on board. Don't hang around any longer, please. Get on board. We need you.